In today's tutorial, I am going to show you a very creative infographic slide called the hanging ribbons. As you can see here, I have added a hole here and when I click a pipe or the rod comes out from the hole and with the shadow effect and when I click it will show you the option one with the details and the ribbon and the shadow effect at the bottom and then second option will come third option and the fourth option and if you want you can create one more slide which I have done with uh, three options only so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size later on we can increase or decrease the size let me just make it this much shape outline make it no outline i will reduce increase okay and then select this rectangle right mouse click go to format shape and under effects you can go to which is the 3d rotation and from presets i'm just going to select this one which is perspective left so you got this one and then i'm going to give a gradient fill for this gradient fill i'm going to select the type as linear and first stop I'm going to make it as a black and the direction I will change to this one the black should come here then I'm selecting this one this should be white and adding one more stop that will be a light gray and another one it will be a darker gray so you can see here you got this uh, kind of a pipe and then I'm going to insert shapes, select a oval shape, draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key and shape outline, make it no outline and give a gray color and then go to effects, shadow and let me just uh, increase the size of this, go to the shadow And I'm going to select this one which is inner center and zoom a little bit and put it exactly on top of this and reduce the size so that it matches the I'm just going to reduce the size further you can see here I'm just going to reduce it so you can see here so the pipe design is ready the next step is i'm just going to make a hole here for that i'm just going to select uh, the oval shape press ctrl d increase the size you can just increase the size you can see here and then go to effects under shadow i'm just going to select this shadow you can see here and increase the distance or you can just select this shadow also which is only the right and just increase the size and then I'm just going to take this I'll make it more uh, oval kind of shape go to format and send to back and just put it exactly here so you know that okay, this rod is coming out from this particular hole and then I'm going to make a shadow effect for this line. So I'm just going to select this particular rod, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and I'm going to remove this uh, stops, two stops I'm going to remove. I'm just going to keep only two. And the direction I'm just going to change something like this. And if you want, this white also i'm just going to change it to more gray color and you can just make it somewhat transparent and then go to effects under soft adjust increase the size maybe four points enough 
and I'm just going to place it here and tilt it just bend it a little bit let me just make it a little only yeah and just put it here and form and send this back so you can see here I've done the shadow of it and I'm going to select this as well as this and group it so you can see here the design is ready for the pipe now let's add the ribbon options to add the ribbon options i'm going to insert shape select a rectangle rounded corners whatever size i'm just going to make it less curved you can see here shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select one more by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to just change the color for a while and i'm just going to place it exactly like this you can see here i need a more curve in this side you can see here this is curved here and if you want you can reduce the curve also a little bit and this also a little bit and then i'm just going to select this blue rectangle first hold the shift key select the gray rectangle and under format merge shape I'm just going to say subtract and the below part also I'm just going to cut it go to insert shapes select a rectangle select the bottom part only and select this and the small rectangle merge shape and subtract so you can see here I can just place it so I got this perfect curve here and again if you want to put it more uh, uh, kind of ribbon effect I'm just going to insert shapes select a triangle draw the triangle at the bottom of this particular ribbon and then I'm going to select this and this merge shape and subtract so you got the ribbon shape also and depending on your requirement you want to increase you want to decrease the size it's up to you so I'll just keep maybe this much size and place it here now I'm going to add one more shape in the background for go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a small rectangle maybe this much size and shape fill for the meantime i'm just going to give different color shape outline make it no outline and then send this to back you can see here the shadow effect let me just zoom in you can see here and make sure that this is properly aligned and then i'm going to give a good colors here i'm going to select this select a gradient fill and type i'm going to select linear and direction i want this black to come on top so i'm just going to select this give some nice colors for example i'll just use this orange color on top and i'm going to select this top go to more colors i'm going to select maybe a light yellow and then for this background i'm going to give a dark color and then go to more colors customs increase the shade so you got this effect then I'm going to add the text I'll just say option one center align put it here choose the right font of your choice I'm going to make it bold increase the size and the font color I'm going to make it white you can see here I've just put it and then you can just add the detailed text here again reduce the size make it white center align and if you have icons you can go to insert icons and you can just select the icons of your choice click insert you can reduce the size and put it here and make it white color so you can see here our first option is ready 
and if you want you can give some shadow effect for that i'm just going to select this pipe press ctrl d and go to format edit shape change the shape to oval shape and reduce the size you can see here and go to effect give more shadow effect you can see here the soft edges and put it here so this is your uh, shadow effect ready so let's add more options now so before adding the new options i'm just going to group this one select this icon this text the option title this one and press ctrl g to group it you can see here then i'm just going to select this this and the shadow and press ctrl d to duplicate it and put it here just here and then just send this to back so you can see here and then it's up to you which color you want you can just come here and change the color of your choice for example i will just select this with a different color combination you can try different color combinations also you can see here and this also you can make it and then i'm just going to make it two sorry i'll make this two and you can change the icon you can just select this icon go to format change graphic from icons i'm going to select a different icon go to click insert and change the color to white so likewise you can add more options so you can see here i've added three options let's give some animation effect to this first of all go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this rod and then i'm going to add animation go to more entrance effect select stretch click ok and effect option say from left so it has come out and then i'm just going to select this shadow for that i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect from left and i will just select start with previous so if if i play this one you can see it comes together with the arrow and then i'm going to select this add animation more intense effect stretch click ok and just say from bottom so it comes something like this and then i'm just going to select add animation more intense effect stretch and i will just say from top and this should happen after previous and this shadow effect also you can give a fade effect and this should happen with previous so if i play you can see here it comes something like this now it's easy for me i'll just select this i'll click animation painter select on second then i'm going to select the back side then this and then i'm going to select this one so let me just add for the third you can see here it's very simple that's it so let's see how it looks when i click the pipe or the rod comes out from the hole and when i click the first option comes the second option comes and the third option comes so you can see here it's very easy to make this kind of infographics in powerpoint That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.